Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Night Witches. So, yeah, um, it's taken me a while to get actually started recording this episode. I actually ran out of funds traveling to this planet because I miscalculated. Um, I did a bunch of stuff, uh, and I'm going to show you here in a second. I outfitted a couple mechs, and then I was like traveling here. Well, I outfitted one mech. And I'm like, okay, well, let's just travel here. And partway through, I'm like, oh, I got a great idea for a loadout. So I, I tried it. I tried the loadout, and I figured I had calculated it enough for the remainder of the jumps. And I miscalculated by like twenty thousand or something. So I ran out of funds getting here. So I had to reload and start all over again. Anyway, we're here now. Uh, we're gonna show you. I'm just gonna show you where we are here. We're at Marawi, Marawi, uh, right here. We jump from right here. And because it's still, I mean, it's still got a good uh, 103 percent. So we decided to jump over here. Now, uh, before I jumped, it was around 70 percent or something. Jade Falcon. Now it's like 92. So we're gonna hit this planet, try and flip it back to Jade Falcon, or I mean, to uh, Draconis Combine as best we can. Uh, it's four skulls, so it's perfect, perfect range for for combat that we want to get into. So let me show you what I did here. That's the reason why this is blank, because um, I had to like reload. It's kind of a dumb move. I don't normally math wrong, but I did that time. I ended up selling more components. But um, anyway, long story short. Uh, so we have the Artemis mech right now ready to go. The EL We're going to have a look at this guy. Well, I wanted to run this one today just to see how it was going to function. Um, and I don't think it's going to be as good as the other loader that I have. But this is like basically an extended range Mac with Artemis just to stand back way at a distance and just hammer guys and do you know half decent damage like it's like it's an LRM 30 that do that does six damage each per missile each right at long range Artemis to make it um, uh, more accurate and then we've got the LRM 5 with narc ammo just to make it even more accurate right and then we've got the large ER pulse for direct fire at long range and you know heat sinking is actually pretty good on this mech so we don't have to really worry about things too much just cycle the large pulse on and off and we're good because this thing is like 52 heat or something right yeah so anyway this is a thousand meter range too so we don't have to close to use this thing we just stand out long range and, and pummel people so then I thought, well, you know, the other mech wasn't really working. The Aero system, the two LRM-10s, and the SM-9, I wasn't really that happy with the loadout. I mean, it was okay, but it was really the link, weak link in the chain. I thought, what could we do to give it a little bit more firepower, a little bit more punch? So, yeah, I, I just figured, well, we could outfit it slightly differently. And what I ended up doing was dropping a pair of MRM-40s in. I left two LRM 10s in, dropped a quarter, two, 225, and dropped in a Clan XL engine. This is why it cost us so much money. So we've got improved MRM ammo. We got um, three tons of that. So that's like, f what, four, two, four, six, seven and a half turns of fire with this improved MRM, plus two accuracy. So it's kind of give, you know helping us out a bit here. We have a fire control system missile, which gives us another plus one accuracy, which is a little better. I didn't have a lot to load this guy out with, so I had to do something, right? Then we got the sensor missiles, which gives us 20% increased range. Now, the medium range doesn't have a minimum range, so it doesn't matter. But the 20% increased range gives us another 100 meters. So we're hitting at 600 meters with these guys. And then these ones are even farther. It's going to be like, you know what, 850 meters or something with the LRM-10s. But the LRM-10 loadouts, we have NARC and LK ammo. So we can do direct fire. Uh, oh yeah, we also got chaff. So I can run chaff and NARC against my targets um, to give me better chances to hit and reduce their chances to hit and then just hammer them with the MRMs. We've also got, I, I needed to, to run this, uh, this integrated laser AMS armor because um, I wanted to see how it's going to work. But I put that on here because I figure, well, we got to defend ourselves. So, um, and we're going to be slow moving, so that's kind of why it's there. Uh, Triple XL Gyro was already on this mech, and Watchdog Suite. We left the prototype double heat sinks in. Uh, the heat sinking actually is pretty good. You know, forty six fifty two, so six over. Uh, with a half decent pilot, that'll just be zero pretty much, because um, we'll be getting an extra ten percent uh, heat sinking. So, that's pretty good actually. So yeah. Um, I'm actually kind of, with what we had, I'm kind of happy with this loadout. I mean, the speed is really bad. It's like 4.8, so it's pretty slow. But um, once it gets into range, like, this is this is actually pretty good range. Like, 600 meters is pretty good range. 
So we'll be hammering people. Um, so hopefully, um, so these have a minus 20% chance to be intercepted by AMS, which means uh, it's easier to hit with these things, I hope. Um, so we're going to just ha I, we're just going to hammer people with this thing. So I'm interested to see how that works out. And then I made a minor adjustment to the Black Knight. I'm trying to figure out how we can make it work a little better. Uh, I didn't really do too much. Um, what did I end up doing here? Just go in here real quick. Oh, I remember now. I, I put in the Nova CEWS just to give it reduced uh, sensors. I wanted, I wanted to take these out really badly, but the maximum evasion, the evasion pips, and the initiative um, that the virtual reality pod gives is great, but I need to get an EI, um, like enhanced imaging cockpit, to replace this one. Um, you know, I don't know. We need something in here. But, um, yeah, the loadout itself, I'm not sure how we're going to change. We'll change it some at some point in time, but I, I don't know how we're going to change it yet. Uh, it's hitting well. It's, it's performing well, so I'm not that worried about it. All right, so now we're on this planet. We've got four skulls. Um, I had a look at the contracts briefly, and there's a lot here that we can do. A lot of four skulls, five skull contracts. Um, and I think maybe we're going to start off with... Um, Broken chain. It's destroying a Jade Falcon logistical base. Uh, so we're going to take out take this one here because I want to try out my two long range mechs. So let's negotiate this, and we're going to go full salvage because it's again Jade against Jade Falcon. So we want to see what we can get off this. Okay, so loadouts. Uh, we're going to pull out the Thunderbolt, and we're going to leave the two catapults. And now this one is which one? This is the MRMs, so let's switch that over to Sunflower, and then let's use the extended range ones in Satori. Um, yeah, and we're going to run this way, I think, and see how it goes. We're going to leave the Black... Well, you know what? We can pull the Black Knight out, too, and run the Thunderbolt. Because it is a destroy base. Chances of us getting into melee... Uh, but then if we don't bring the melee mech, and we've got someone we, we need to take out fast, we just can't do it... And I mean, we've got enough range damage, so let's let take this. We'll take the Black Knight, that's fine. So let's deploy. Okay. Desert Planet, not much we can do about this. So the enemy is going to scramble reinforcements as soon as they uh, get a chance. So we want to pull down the turrets as fast as we can. Waiting for order. Um, really wanted to get the range finder in this mech. All right, let's get warmed up. Shouldn't take long. Got it. That's a miss. That's it. Some extra heat is what that is. Um, gonna work on moving over here, closing with the turrets. Commander. So you got the MRMs. We're gonna leave with the improved. And I think I want to switch this to chaff and, and narc for now. See how it goes. We got the integrated laser on. Um, it's like really slow, but I expected that. It's actually not but not a bad sprint. No shooting. Just for a heavy, it's not bad. I hear ya. And you're really slow too. So I mean. We are what we are. Okay, so the LRM, we're going to switch to NARC. And done. Standing by. Well, you're up. Standing. Okay, so we got turrets. Armored LRM. Armored Shredder. Archer. Rifleman. Thunderbolt. And Lupus, well, three of the classic mechs. Um, 450 armor. Four hundred and fifty armor. Good chances to hit, though. Let's go with damage. 
Well. <sighs> Rifleman's got 600 armor. Not a good chance to hit, though. Archer. Lupus. Thunderbolt. LRM turret's got 450 as well. We can do, if we hit with everything, we can do about 400 damage. Let's take this guy. Let's see if we can take him out of the battle this turn. Okay, not bad. How do we do? Oh, we did almost, did over... Yeah, 340. That's pretty good. Alright, you need to get close. And how are we going to do that? Like this, I imagine. Okay. Going full throttle. Yeah, I think we can pew pew this guy with two. Yep. Hooray! Yeah, I see him. I don't want to take the DNI cockpit off because the extra evasion really makes a difference. Apparently, not that much of a difference. Yeah, we should have brought the. Uh, yeah, we should have brought the um, Thunderbolt. Yep. Okay, that was that one gone. Okay, not bad. I want to be able to use this area to defend against these guys and the other turrets, but don't know how that's going to work out. Waiting on you, Commander. All right, I'm interested to see what kind of damage you can put out here. On my way. Okay, so six times thirty is 180 plus the narc, 180. Mm, I don't think we got the juice for this one. That's close to 100, but 280. Well, be warlord. Might get a little more. Eh, not marginally more. All right, well firing. Be Better chance to hit anyway. Ah, oh, almost. Yeah, well. All right, interested to see this LRM turret goes, if he goes against the back guys, if that, I think I have to click on this integrated laser LMS armo, ar armor to get it to shoot at more than one target. So, I mean, defend for more than one mech. I think we have to turn that on. So I can get it to turn on and defend these, both, all, like, all these guys. I don't think we need to. I don't want to waste the heat. Yikes. Light damage, Commander. Okay. I'm guessing that maybe we should go Thunderbolt first, maybe. Either him or the rifleman. Jesus Christ. Somebody's overheating. Standing by. Oh, 
Understood. Moving fast. Uh, we're gonna target this thing with two and fire. Nice. Okay. One less turret. So she's in visual range of this guy, which I hope we can take out next turn. All right, now we can just focus on these mechs here. Let's see if we can pull this rifleman out first. He's got the least amount of armor. From what I remember. So let's warlord this up. And yep. What can I do for you? Okay. And once again, uh rifleman. We'll leave the large ER, pul ER pulse on, we might as well. Oh. Okay. When I shoot you, you'll take it and like it. Order. Now. I don't have to sprint. I'm just going to walk up here. Hmm. Is it going to be in range? Let's get in the trees. Confirmed. This guy's pretty much done. Thirty-seven, huh? Well, we're gonna switch these to chaff and narc. Uh, then we're gonna multi. We're gonna go here and here, and B will take the chaff and narc, and we'll finish up A. Here we go. Acknowledged. Yeah, I think I'm liking that loadout. So he's chaffed and narc now. Bonus for us to hit, negative for him to hit. You know, I think maybe running four catapults would still be viable. Man, you don't want to be in the open. You don't want to be there. I think we use Megasaur against the Lupus. And it can only hit so many. I can't take much more of this. Relax, you're fine. I was gonna try and put Inferno ammo on that thing too. On the uh, cat the uh, MRM catapult. Just, just don't have the space internally for it. Uh, let's make sure we get rid of this guy. I think we're going to come in from here. 823 damage plus a flail. I think that should probably be enough. I'm just guessing, though. It might not be. Sorry, buddy. I'm not really sorry. Yeah, don't want to see that. Hostile eliminated. Oof. Good to go. Okay, let's get So this is the archer, right? Yeah. And this is a camouflage LRM and this is a shredder. That's probably got 450 as well. Um, let's focus on the archer. Good chances to hit. And we'll fire. Okay, again, let's go after this archer. I'm going to try and pull him from the match. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Ready for orders. Hmm. 
Yeah, I don't want to present my left side. Okay, we got our stability back. Let's warlord this. And we'll hammer this guy. Um, Chaff and Narc, yep, firing. Well, he survived it. It's going down, though. I mean, archers are good, but just not as good as me. Alright, so that Thunderbolt, hopefully, will be in range for Megasaur next turn. There's going to be reinforcements, most likely. All right. Four from 19, not bad. Could be way worse. Nah, he's moving the wrong way. I think our AMS is off anyway. Oh, you got a lot of those. Ah, five. Yeah, I almost wish I'd taken those Inferno rounds now. Well, he's shut down. Yes, Commander. Um. Can we get to cover? Guess not, eh? Well, I can move in and turn my right side. Give them a target. Okay. And we'll just Go shoot this guy here. See if we can get a shot on him. He's shut down. Let's run three of them. Go for the CT and fire. Okay, nice. Good kill, girl. Good kill. Um. Yeah, we really need to kill this Thunderbolt, so let's do that. Um hmm. We got Thunderbolt parts. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> there you go. Ah, beautiful. There's just some days, you know, you just have that good time. Mech's on fire. Alright, are we in range? We are in range with the MRMs. That's that's good. Let's get chaff on that in NARC as well. And we'll fire. Heat sinking is pretty good, actually. A lot of them are missing down here, but that's fine. Now, Satori. Can we get you out of the sight of that other two? We can. We want to just try and get out of direct line of sight of the turret. It's a shredder turret, so it needs to see us. And uh, we've only got, oh, we've got Artemis for this. Um, let's go with a little extra damage. Alpha I don't think we'll kill a turret. Oh, we did. I take it back then. Bye -bye. Nicely done. Okay, I don't think he can see us now. Commander. But regardless, Megasaur is just going to come back here. Let's put the big guns on it. Here it comes. Locking on. Yeah, man. Good to go. Oop, not there. Yep. Better. I read you, Commander. Moving out. And yeah, we got Warlord, so let's bring it on. Take some heat down. And firing. Nicely done. Dang, you're dead. 
Yeah, those two mechs are perfect for uh, base destruction missions. All right, let's get in here. Can we actually hit any of these buildings? Oh, we can now. Okay, cool. It's got 200. Should be able to kill it. Yep, yeah, there we go. Theoretically, they, they said it. They might have reinforcements coming in. But I don't know. I think they would have been here by now. Oops. Uh, wait, is that the actual military building? Okay, it is. And fire. A lot of sevens and eights going on there. That's kind of weird. Just in case we get mechs in, let's just switch to normal as well. Firing. Sending in the big guns, eh? One less structure. Let's see what kind of big guns they're talking about. Nothing over here. So they're back there, okay. Let's see if we can hit both these buildings. We can. This one's got how much? A hundred. And this one's got like nothing left, right? One fifty to start. So multi target um, A and B. Those two to A. And the rest to be. Okay, that's that one gone. Almost got that one. I hear ya. Moving out. And just fired large pulse, because why not? There it is. It's time to look out. Get to the LZ for extraction. No, no, no. I want to see what they're what the, they call big guns. Receiving you. No, 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 no. Copy that. Ah, shit. They're over here too. Night gear. Mars assault vehicle. Well, well. That's got to be squashable. Alright, well, let's warlord it up. Hit this guy. Oof. Let's leave the heat off and we'll fire everything else. Actually, let's leave the Ultra. Let's go with this. I just want to um, reduce the recoil in the Ultra. Interested to see what else they have here. Night Gear Prime moving into punch range. Very brave. Thought they were pretty much dedicated missile mechs. I guess not, eh? I guess they can have multiple different configurations. I guess it's like any other clan mech. Yes, Commander. Okay, let's get into here. Location confirmed. And we're dealing with missile carrier. Um, now we're dealing with this guy first. Chaff and Narc. Actually, you know what? Let's multi-target. Um, this guy and this guy. Let's get um, the Chaff and Narc on the Mars vehicle just to make it harder for them.
Wait, what did I... Did I not... Oh my god, I didn't switch them. Morning. Gotta stop playing when you're tired. If you're tired, you shouldn't be playing the game. Um... This time I won't forget. Wow, 5%, eh? Alright, let's just not even fire it then. Firing on this guy. Black Knight, okay. Where's my horns at? Bam, 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 bam. Wow, man, do I really want to, um... If I full-on melee this guy, though, we're not going to get any parts from him. But then if I don't, he's in a good potential to do some damage to us. Two ER PPCs, Ultra 10. Medium pulses. He's kind of unstable, though. Let's get in a Mars vehicle attack range for next turn. I'm gonna offensive push this guy, hopefully knock him back a little bit. Um, we'll just fire with one. Oh, he shut down. Let's see if he can plink his head. Firing. Confirmed. Eh. Meh. Well, we got Thunderbolt parts. So if we don't get this guy, that's fine. I mean, it would be disappointing, but... You learn to live with disappointment in life. Let's see if we can take this guy's head off. Because we're good like that. Firing. Engaging. Unsteady. Ready for orders. I copy. This time we won't forget to do it. Let's do this. Because I don't know if we're going to squash... We should squash the Mars vehicle though. Let's do... Um, Ah, uh, chaff only lasts for a certain number of turns. Let's just hammer this guy straight out. Roger. There's the knockdown. Waiting on you, Commander. So now. Let's see if we can hit this missile carrier. Not really great chances to hit, eh? Well, we'll take him anyway. Okay, we got the narc on him. Nice. So unless that Mars takes off on us, we should be able to squash him next turn. Got my Berserker up, so that's good. Thank you. I'm generating a lot of heat, Commander. That's fine, you're supposed to. The whole reason why we have you configured like we like we do. Okay, that could have been far worse. He's just pissed that I was shooting at his head. Okay, what's Martian Man doing here? ATMs. Oh. Okay. So, where is the front on this guy? He, this side, okay. Waiting for orders. 
because let's step on the front uh, so maybe we keep I think it's probably got an XL uh, 1100 armor we're gonna be doing over a thousand points so it's not like we're worried about uh, not killing the guy wait what the hell happened Um, what the hell just happened? Did I not click melee attack? I must have because I don't have actually a chance to shoot or anything. Oh man, are you kidding me? What can I do for you? Are you freaking kidding me? Still need to kill this guy firing. What happened to our sixes? What happened to our sixes? Uh, This time we'll go this route though. And yep. Acknowledged. Okay. I'm out of long range missile. Yeah, you're at a specific type of long range missile, maybe. Maybe. Okay, um... Just get rid of them. Guns off the field, baby. We'll get whatever we get from that. We're getting Thunderbolt parts most likely anyway, so... I think we got like one or two of them already in the storage. I still want to know what the hell happened with that step. I mean, we could have missed, but we didn't get any animation or anything, so I must have... I'll have to go back and watch it. What the hell happened? Ow! Ow. Warning. Damage critical. <sighs> Waiting for orders. That's all I did last time. Minefield, possible damage, heat one of two. Position confirmed. Well, it worked this time. I don't know what the hell happened last time. Screw you! Reporting one less vehicle. How are we doing here? We got 60. That's on the right side. Keep the left side turned here. Should be okay. Warning. Heat exceeding recommended. 26 heat from minefield, eh? Yeah, we're not using these. Or this. Or this, apparently. Or anything. How is that? Oh man. Warning. Heat exceeding recommended level. Okay, is there like no indicator for minefields? I guess not. Order.
I copy. Okay, I have no idea where the hell that minefield is. Yes. Go that route. Mostly for instability's sake. Waiting for orders. Got it. Well, at least you ain't overheating. Ah, firing. firing on target. Nice. Yep. Standing by. Got you covered. Affirmative. Got you covered. Yes, Commander. Something like that, probably. And just fire. Good to go. Ah, uh, just hammer him. Let's get the narc on him. The right side turn to this guy. Definitely want a warlord. See what we can do. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go with everything as we have to and fire. Okay. Shit. Well, that guy's screwed. Not a good day for you. You're gonna start up just in time to watch me punch you right in the face. Okay, there goes that leg. Inflicted some heavy damage. And you're gonna go way after we are. Okay. I think the MRMs are a bad choice to go after a leg with, but um, let's do this. We'll leave one off. Sure. Oh, yeah. Just because he pissed us off. Just bail out, buddy. You know you want to. Um, wow. Yeah, we're heating up pretty bad here. Let's see if we can get that leg. Yep. Nice. There it is, folks. All right, contract payment increased by 45%, which is nice because we're going to need this for repairs. We lost the warfare suite. 
Uh, what else did we lose here? A bunch of stuff took some serious internal damage here. Warfare suite gone. Um, at least we didn't lose anything that we can't replace with something else. Um, yeah, that was pretty much it. What a nice match that was. I'm loving both of these catapults. Uh, although I think the ELRM one, got to get a um, Klein XL engine in that thing. So I'll have to work towards that. Let's see what our uh, salvage is like this time. Okay, Archer piece. Hmm. Black Knights, Clan Rifleman, Thunderbolt pieces. Could take five of those. ATM. Well, there's a lot of Clan weapons here too, so let's have a good look at these guys. Clan ERPPCs, Clan Goss rifle. LRM Longfire Plus, LRM 20 clans. These came off the missile carrier, I guess. That's an option. I mean, if we... Oh, man. The second catapult, we could run four of these. For the current weight that we're running, the two ERLM 15s. And then we'd need to um, put the Clan XL engine in to give us room for more ammo. Then we got two crazy mechs. Uh, another command console, cores, uh, regular XL engine. Another Artemis. We've already got Artemis. Uh, Guardian ECMs, regular double heat sinks, clan double heat sinks, double heat sink kits, TTS weapons, okay, ATM ammo, LRM ammo, incendiary Artemis, do we have a lot of Artemis ammo? We don't have any. Thunder Incendiary, eh? One mines per projectile, three mine trigger radius. Could you imagine hitting somebody with an LRM-80 with this? Three mine trigger radius. Ah, God, now i got to decide. Do I want mech parts? I think we're okay. Ah, oh, man. We've got one of these. Let's take three more. And then let's take uh, this. And we refit the uh, second catapult. Or maybe we refit a third catapult. Let's confirm this. Okay, we've got two Black Knight parts. That's good. Make your prime cool... Rifleman and a Thunderbolt part. All right, not bad. And then a few clan weapons here. Large heavy laser clan. Oh, we got three of those now. Um, medium pulse clans. Nice. Okay, so not bad. Not bad. Okay, let's have a look at what we did with the planet here. 186,000. Okay, not too bad. Could have been way worse. We do have some repairs to do here. Let's have a look here. Um, come on. All right. Um, so everything was damaged. We're going to get the catapults back early, I think. Um, yeah, let's get the catapults back early. Um, I think what I'm going to do is manage the tasks. So one day... This one is the ELRM version, I believe. Let's just make sure. Let's go one day. Because if it is, we can outfit it with the LRM 20s. Let's just see here. So I've made a decision to sell... Uh, yes, it is. To sell a bunch of the um, light mech parts that we're never going to use. Like I'll keep the Omni mech parts and stuff, but all the light mech parts I think I'm just going to get rid of. 
So let's do this real quick. I'm just interested to see what this loadout would look like here. So let's go down. We're going to have to mix and match the ammo. So Clan LRM20s. I guess we got it. We picked up an extra one. Okay, cool. Uh, we're out of slots. Um, it's going to be really tricky. Patchwork materials to make space. We've already got Pharaoh. We need a Clan XL engine. I'm just interested to see what the cost is going to be to do this. Because I really want to do this here. Two additional free slots. Let's pull out the Pharaoh Fibrous. Let's do this. So it's four LRM20s. Oh, we got the large ER pulse too that we don't necessarily need to leave in. Because we got to worry about heat efficiency too, right? Alpha Strike 73, heat efficient 48. So what we would do, most likely, we got a 210 core. Um, just change the core out. Oops, uh, we want to go here. Let's change the core out real quick. Uh, let's go up to a 250. See what that gives us. Okay, so we've got a bit of weight we can use. Um, so if we leave the... See, we don't. We only have a certain number of prototype double heat sinks. That's the problem, right? Although, it should give us more heat sinking this way. Fifty six seventy three. Now we don't have any exchangers, I don't think. We do have more prototype double heat sinks. Do we have an exchanger? No exchangers? None. Got so many mechs running now that it's like we're running out of stuff. Let's do that. Let's pull this out for a second. Um, so this what do we got? ammo wise here so LRM swarm thunder we wanted to put the thunder in and we'll probably put a couple tons of swarm let's pull out the half ton of narc so this gives us three turns of swarm fire three four and a half turns of Artemis fire and one and a half turns of this, so that would be three, four and a half, five, six, nine turns of firing. It's not enough. One additional slot to put Pharaoh in, eh? So if we do, do we have we got two half ton patchworks. We could do that with, and then we'd have an extra ton of ammo. So, what do we say this was? This was three, six, nine turns of firing. So, we'd have another turn and a half. So, just over 10 turns of continuous fire. I mean, we could go standard double ammo and get an extra 30 rounds, but I would rather go with the better chance to hit or swarm and lose number of uh, rounds. We could also go with an extra thunder. That'll give us three turns of thunder fire. We could really tie them up with that. I hate having all the ammo on one torso, but I don't see any other choice. Now the case that we had, was that clan? Or the Pharaoh Fibers? No, it wasn't. Do we, we do have Pharaoh clan, which we need three slots to put in. So if we do this, Pharaoh clan, we have one slot left and a half a ton. We could put this back up. So the half ton, we could put another half ton of ammo in. We took the NARC ammo out. NARC is 60. What else do we have? We have incendiary, LRM, what do we have for half ton though? LRM and Cindery half. Yeah, I mean. I 
we could go have a ton of incendiary ammo. Don't we have a half ton of normal ammo? Let's check the store and see what they got here too. So we don't have 1.7 million. They got nothing here. We don't have 1.7 million. So I think what I'm going to do between episodes most likely is sell all those light mech parts. The ones that we're just not going to use. Um, because I love this kind of loadout here. This would be devastating. Heat sinking is really good at the moment. Like, I mean, if we decide... Yeah, I mean, Artemis... Um, do we have, I thought we had a clan Artemis. Indirect. I guess we don't. I thought the clan Artemis gave us plus one to hit. Yeah, well, not much we can do here. Alright, so we're going to wait till the next episode then. I think we'll probably load this up. I mean, we could reduce the core slightly. Give us a bit more weight. But we're, uh, we're running out of space too, right? So, But that would give us the ability to put case on both sides and split up the ammo. Which is probably a better way to do it. Yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Alright, so I'm going to have to leave the episode there, guys. I still got to record an episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. I'm running out of time tonight, so we'll leave it there. Um, post your comments in the comment section down below. What do you think about the, the catapult loadouts now as they are? Uh, I think I'm liking it better than the arrow system. I think just the sheer volume of MRMs uh, going off is really, really helping us out. Let's get the catapult uh, here. Let's just do it this way. It's going to be a while. We'll run our, we'll run our, uh, when we come back next time, I mean, these guys will probably be back before the financial report. But we're going to run our medium lance when we come back next episode. There are a few contracts here that we could run. But like I said, drop, drop your comments in the comment section down below. Like we could do, I don't know, something down here. Um, Drop your comments in the comment section down below about the, cat the catapult loadouts. What do you think? Um, also, the Black Knight, too. I know there was several comments about it, uh, what we can do to make it better. I mean, we could just pull out all of the um, the uh, clan medium lasers and switch them up to pulse lasers or something like that, give us a better chance to hit and stuff. Still rack, still rack our heat up. Um, but I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I've, I'm still kind of up in the air. I, we don't have any plasma lances or anything like that, unfortunately. So I'll have to keep our eye out for those. Um, hopefully we're not on the receiving end of those when we find them. Um, but yeah, so I'll leave the episode there. If you enjoyed it, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Until next time, we'll see you all later.